Hi everyone, this is the Smuff team presenting the third part of a tutorial on how to build a smart TV application with Smuff. On the previous video we created our new project and started developing our weather application. We reached a point where we have defined the app's layout and we even load the weather data onto our app. In this tutorial we will be adding functionality for user interaction and we will also learn how to use Smuff notifications in order to add new cities. To listen for remote control buttons, we have to use the Smuff on function. We shall place the function inside the Smuff ready callback right after the load weather call. Smuff on function takes two arguments. The first argument is the name of the event to listen for. In case of button press on remote control, the event is action. The second argument is a function that will take as an argument the event triggered. This function will be called whenever the given event occurs, with the event that triggered it as argument. In our case, what this function does is to simply log on the console the event type and the event command. Now, if we save our index.html, reload the index.html on a browser and open a console, we can try to press some buttons. For example, we can try our keyboard arrow keys. We get to see some messages on the browser's console. We will notice two types of events. Key down, which is triggered when a button is pressed or if a button stays pressed. And key up, which is triggered when a button is released. We are now ready to use button functionality to navigate between cities. We will utilize the left-right buttons on the remote control and change city when we receive a key up event for each button. If the user keeps the related button pressed, we will loop between cities as long as he keeps the button pressed. To do that, we will update smartphone functions callback by adding the following code. What this code does is at first to make sure that we only utilize key up event types and return when the event type is key down. At that point, if the event command is left, we point the pointer to the previous city. If we are currently on the first city, then take us to the last. And of course, load weather in order to retrieve city weather data. If now the event command is right, then take us to the next city. And if we are currently on the last city, then take us to the first. And of course, load weather in order to retrieve city data. We can check the results by reloading index.html in our browser. And now we can try pressing left-right arrows on our keyboard. We will see that the city and weather forecast actually change. Up to now we have developed a fully functional application, but we haven't yet used Smuff's full potential. How about adding more cities using Smuff notifications? Smuff allows you to send notifications to any running applications. We can do that through the dashboard. Let's use this functionality in order to dynamically add cities to our application. The first step 
is to add code in order to listen for notifications. Again, we will have to use smuff on method, but this time the argument must be notifications. The payload of each notification is in fact a JSON message which is defined on the dashboard. We will go there later. When the notification arrives at smuff SDK, it passes an event to the callback that you defined using smuff on. And the event contains this payload. We will add the following code inside the smuff ready function. What we did is to add a callback, which is this function right here, that appends the location received from the notification to the list of cities. Let's go now to our newly created Smuff account and use the dashboard to send notifications. Having logged in, we see our weather application and we click on the notification button. This will lead us to a page with a list of all notifications that are pending for submission, which is currently none. We click on the Create Notification button. And this page is where we create the notification. We need to specify a name and description and define the payload that we would like to send. In our case, we want to send latitude and longitude exactly as we store it in the cities array. Let's use New York for example. The latitude for New York is 40.71 and the longitude is minus 74 approximately. To add each one to the notification, we click on the icon to the left of the editor, select Append, and type in the values so that they appear as follows. We repeat for longitude. We leave the target to broadcast as we want to send notifications to all the devices. Also, we leave scheduled delivery to ASAP so that the notifications will be delivered as soon as possible. Let's click the Save button. We get a message saying that our notification has been submitted successfully. After a few seconds, we will notice the message Receive Notification on our browser's console. If we navigate within our app, we will notice that the city, New York, has been successfully added. That's it for now. This is the Smuff team, thank you for watching and we hope to see you in our next tutorial.